I remember this view. Right across the street from the cemetery. Look at this. Beautiful. I believe that's Lake Washington there, and I think that's Lake Washington Bay, and over here on the left is Lake Union. Well, that could be Lake Union, that could be Lake Washington, but I'm pretty sure that's the bay that's kind of smaller. Lake Washington's huge. And right across the street is where we're headed. Anymore. I mean, I do not believe that there is such thing as like Chinese way of fighting or the, or the Japanese way of fighting or whatever way of fighting because unless human beings have three arms and four legs we will have a different form of fighting mm. but basically we have only two hands and two feet so styles tends to uh, 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 not only separate men, you know, because they have their own doctrines and then the doctrine became the gospel truth, you know, that you cannot change, you know. And, but if you do not have styles, if you just say, well, here, here I am, you know, as, uh, as a human being, how can I express myself totally and completely? Now, that way, you won't create a style because style is a crystallization, you know. I mean, that way, it's a process of continuing growth. I started training with my dad really as soon as I could walk. I mean, my dad was a really diligent trainer and he always had people over at the house practicing, uh, friends and students, and that was just how we played at my house, you know? Uh, in fact, I remember when I was a little kid, a lot of my friends didn't want to come over to the house because there were always these men out in the backyard screaming and breaking things, you know? <laughs> that was just part of the course, eh? cemetery in Seattle. Now I've been here before and it's been about three and a half years. Lots of times after I visited a grave, off camera I go back later on if I'm in the same town or city and I'll revisit them. It's just off camera, something I do. This one I'm putting on camera because I've been here before and I'm visiting the graves of Brandon and Bruce Lee. And a lot of people ask me to go to their graves. And I realize I have five years of videos be behind me already and lots of new subscribers. And they don't often check, you know, like what I've already done. Because I did a lot of stuff in the, in the first three years. I was cranking up videos all the time. Um, so there's lots of stuff probably a lot of people haven't seen. But I got get asked a lot. And I also heard that there's something different about the grave. I'm not sure. I think maybe it's that fence that's around it. Now this is a major tourist attraction here in Seattle, Bruce Lee's grave and his son Brandon. Uh, John Saxon, one of his close houses here and uh, as well. I'm here today for Bruce and Brandon. If you don't know who Bruce Lee is, I think you know. Uh, famous martial artist, actor, uh, creator of Jeet Kune Do. It's a martial arts philosophy he, cre you know, he created himself. His son Brandon. Who was in the crow just uh, just getting he just getting his career started and tragically tragically and accidentally shot on the set of the crow give it a second oh man 
And of course, Bruce Lee died young as well. These are three, two, uh, swelling of the brain caused by an allergic reaction to headache medication. Both died far, far too young. Now it looks like there's even a bit of a lineup to get to their grave now. This is not the way it was before. Quite interesting. Well, let's uh, go down, take a look what's new, what's different. And yeah, like I said, it's a tour attraction. Over 10,000 people a year visit this grave. It's one of the top 10 most visited graves in the world. And uh, people come from all over the world. And throughout the cemeteries, uh, Civil War veterans, Seattle mayors, met a lot of Seattle mayors are here. This is a pretty, you know, prominent cemetery that we're in today. But right over here, this is Bruce and Brandon Lee. People taking selfies. Uh, I see what they've done. They've kind of made a, um, what do you call it? A walkway to the grave. This wasn't here three years ago. It wasn't like this. And if you're looking for his grave to come, there's the front entrance right there. Right there, just drive straight to the hill. And there will be people here. You'll see a fair amount of cars parked. And this is, you can't miss it. So I'm gonna go down here a little bit. Yeah, I remember distinctly coming back here. So they have changed the ground as well. But it was on some sort of platform. And I'm not sure. Yeah, it was on some sort of platform, but this was definitely not here. This walkway. Give these people a second. So yeah, you kind of have to wait in a little bit of a lineup, which is odd. So there's a bench behind us. It says, husband, father, son, and brother, you are always with us, Linda and Shannon. Of course, Linda, Bruce Lee's wife, and Shannon, the sister. So I have to give back some of his fanny pack they left behind, but thank thankfully they're still here. So let's read this. Ah, boy, this is crazy to see. Um, I will put my rocks down first. The shadows are behind us. One for Bruce, one for Brandon. Bruce Lee's grave reads November 27, 1940 to July 20th, 1973, founder of Jeet Kune Do. Your inspiration continues to guide us toward our own personal liberation. Then we have Brandon Bruce Lee, February 1st, 1965 to March 31st, 1993. Let me get close to this. Because we don't know when we will die, we get to think of life as an inexhaustible well. Yet everything happens a certain number of times and a very small number. Really, how many more times will you remember a certain afternoon of your childhood, some afternoon that's so deeply a part of your being that you can't even conceive of your life without it? Perhaps four or five times more. Perhaps not even that. How many more times will you watch the full moon rise? perhaps 20, and yet it all seems so limitless. For Brandon and Eliza, ever joined in true love's beauty. So there's Brandon and Bruce Lee's grave, and right around here, here, right here, is John Saxon. You're gonna recognize that face right away. 
character actor. He's in Nightmare on Elm Street. Uh, New Nightmare, I think he was in. He was in Black Christmas. And of course, he was Roper in Enter the Dragon. Always in my heart. He was a martial artist as well. He was such a great actor. Gloria Martel, Martel Saxon, always in my heart. And I only have a little rock left now with me, but I'm gonna put it there for John. So he just died not too recently. 84 years old. He forever looks like that to me though. I mean, if you ever saw pictures of him near to the end of his life, we probably looked a lot older. I, I would always have that face in my head from the horror movies and from Enter the Dragon because I worked at a video store in the 90s and not to put too fine a point or I don't want to swear but I watched the shit out of Enter the Dragon I mean I must have watched it a hundred times I just kept putting them on over and over again there are a few movies I did that with and Enter the Dragon was one of them it was just so fun to watch over and over again and have on in the background and he was Roper John Saxon beautiful spot right near his friend and co-star Bruce Lee. Look, more people, line up. So line up now. Ah. City of Compton. A lot of planes, but not, they're all flying into Seattle. Where is it? There it is. To the SeaTac Airport, which is south of here. It's one of the more beautiful sandwiches that I've ever been to, and I remember it vividly being here. I'm glad I came back, and I'm glad you, watching right now, are able to uh, experience it with me. Maybe for the second time with me, maybe for the first. Rest in peace, John Saxon. Rest in peace, Bruce and Brandon Lee. I will see you, wait, you, on the next video. Thanks for watching. Peace.